Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thanks for tapping on me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So today we're talking about turtle maintenance. How do we maintain these turtle tanks, guys? So everybody has their own way of doing it. But in this video, I'm going to tell you about how I do it. And then we could also um, actually do a little cleaning on this tank and uh, you'll basically get a better idea of exactly how I do it. And um, you could try it out for yourself and it might work for you or you can keep doing it your way. It all, it's all up to you guys, but I just want to uh, make this video and give you, and give you some, um, some ideas, some tips and some other options. And, um, you know, we learn from each other. So, um, if you disagree, if you have any, um, any, any tips that you could give me, please drop them down in the comment section. And, um, I look forward to hearing them, but moving forward with this video. So I have the 125 right here and I have the 60 gallon right here. So today we are going to clean the 60 gallon right here, which is housing the two Florida soft shells, as well as the two radiator sliders. So um, when I do my water changes on this tank, I take out about 75%. I never take out 100%, guys. The reason why I don't take out the 100% is just like an aquarium with fish. You don't wanna, you don't wanna destroy all of your beneficial bacteria. So if you do 100% water change, you is basically like you cycling your tank all over again you kill off all the beneficial bacteria um so you know you don't want to do it that way at least that's my opinion so i make sure i take out about 75 percent of water i clean the filters i clean all the media and um and tank water and um i don't i don't touch the substrate i back in the substrate but i don't take it out i don't do any of that stuff um i've seen some people do it that way that's not that's not what I want to do. Like I said, you do not want to destroy all that beneficial bacteria. When you destroy that beneficial bacteria and you cycle your tank, that's the worst time to have an aquarium. Everybody knows this. That's why during the cycling process, most you know most people don't even put fish in their tank. Some people do. Some people allow a fish or two to help them cycle their tank, but for the most part, you know most people don't really put fish in their tank during the cycling process. So you got to keep that in mind when you're, when you're removing 100% of your water. So you don't want to destroy all of that beneficial bacteria. You know, that is working for you. That is allowing you to have um, a healthier tank. You know, it's, a lot, it's working for you when you're not even touching your tank. So when you have this beneficial bacteria inside of your tank, it's basically eating up all the nitrates. I hope you guys know what the nitrogen cycle is. So that beneficial bacteria is what controls the nitrogen cycle, guys. So the beneficial bacteria is doing all the breaking down of all of these different elements, the ammonia, the nitrite, the nitrate. So without this beneficial bacteria, there is no nitrogen cycle. And that is very important for your tank. You wanna make sure that you are keeping as much of that beneficial bacteria in your tank as possible. So the water change is good. You remove some of that water out some of that foul water because you don't want to overload your beneficial bacteria. That's when we have a problem. That's when your tank crash. That's when you have ammonia spikes, et cetera, et cetera. So that's where the water changes come into play. And you could do a bigger water change when you have turtles than you can with fish. That's why with the 75%, sometimes even 80%, you could do that. But um, yeah, so that's how I do it, guys. Like I said, we all have our own ways of doing this. I just wanted to share my way of doing it with you guys and uh, answer some questions that I've actually received in my comments via this video. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and clean out this tank so you can see firsthand how I do this. So here's this 60 gallon turtle tank. Water looks clear, but uh, I can still tell that it's time to do a little cleaning on this. So. There's my hang on the back filter that I use. That's, that's a Fluval 110. And then here's my, uh, my Cascade filter. And um, you can see it's time to clean this. So perfect time for a video. All right, so just removed the filter from that, the hang on the back, just remove that. We have all of our media compact right here. These plants are holding everything together with their roots. So 
we have out about maybe 10 gallons, maybe about, yeah, about 10 gallons I've already removed. Those 10 gallons I'm going to use to clean this hang on the back, to clean the canister filter down below. And then uh, I'm going to remove another, i say another 30 gallons, maybe, maybe another 20 gallons, matter of fact, and then uh, fill it back up. And while I'm draining it, I'm actually gonna, gonna do a, um, a gravel back because the, um, the sand is very dirty. So other than that, let's just keep moving with this, guys. I'm gonna rinse this off inside of the um, tub. Yes, the tub. I'm gonna rinse it off inside of the tub, clean this real good, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I have the filter clean. I got it filled back up with all of the media, et cetera. Got all the plants back in there. So now I will just go ahead and do the same thing with the, with the canister filter. Check out this water, look how dirty this water is. So I had four different packs of, um, of Biomax in there. I had, I had a little bag of lava rock and then I had some, some filter floss that I've been using for the past year. So um, yeah, yeah, let's keep going with this. We about to go ahead and remove this canister filter, clean this substrate and then uh, we're gonna fill it back up. Now I've got the filter removed. Now I'm about to go ahead and clean this in the bathtub as well. And uh, I've already rinsed off all of my media, but I'm sure, I'm sure you guys know how to do that. But uh, let me go ahead and clean this, this, uh, this canister and then I'll be right back. So that's that. Both of the filters are clean. So now I just need to clean the substrate. So this is all it takes. out all of the large organics all those black particles in there that's pieces of the driftwood from uh, from the prior decor that I had in there Part of the reason why I went ahead and took it out, a large part of it. The size, I think it looks a lot better in the, in the 125. All right, so let me go ahead and finish siphoning this sand and then uh, I'll get back with you in just a second. All right, guys, so that's about it. I pulled out about 40 gallons, maybe 35, but um, yeah, that's all I pull out. You know what I mean? I could have gone a little bit lower. I could have pulled out, you know, 50 gallons, but I think that's enough. You know, that's perfect for me. So let me go ahead and add the water back into this aquarium, the filters, because of course you got to prime them before you go ahead and cut them back on. So let me make sure that those are running correctly. And then, uh, then I'll let you see the tank, you know, when it's complete. All right, now this. All right, guys. So that about wraps it up. Got the water changed. Got the substrate vacuum. Have the filters clean. And uh, it's a little cloudy, but 
This tank's gonna be crystal clear tomorrow. So, um, we got one sleeping turtle right there. <laughs> Woke that one up. But, um, yeah, guys, that's how I do my tank clean, my turtle tank clean. 80% max, more like 75% water changes going on, if not 50. Um, make sure that you keep in enough of that water so you can keep all of your beneficial bacteria healthy, colonized, and inside your tank. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, drop them down in that comment section. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Like my Facebook page, The Fish Corner. Consider joining my Facebook group, Fisherholics. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. If you like this video, hit that like button. And until next time, guys, peace.